Hey, all Slavia Universe, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. Welcome to another episode of AEW Dynamite. It is the final A Dynamite of four double or nothing. And tonight we will see MJF and Adam Cole go face to face. Mercedes Monet and Jay Cargill will team up to, to go against their opponents at double or nothing. We will see the final rivalries finally take their last stand as we go into this weekend. But for right now, we have one of the best tag teams in the world in the ring. It's FTR. Now, last week was an unfortunate mishap. We merely wanted to show the tag team champions that we, FTR, mean business. Now, if those wannabes in the modern classic want to deal with us, they can later. But for now, it's us and the Lucha Brothers, and it's this weekend at Double or Nothing. So, I would like to personally bring them out here right now. And I'd like to personally apologize for last week. Now, Dax Cash, if you think you've shaken our confidence for next week, I assure you, you're wrong. And I don't know about this whole... We didn't mean to, business. From where we were standing, it looked like you were trying to make us lose. You think, just because we lost a match, that means our resolve is broken? Look at us. We are the best tag team in the world. I know it. They know it. Modern Classic knows it. And it's because you know it that you got involved last week. You were hoping that by somehow shaking our confidence before this weekend, you were going to get inside our heads. I hate to inform you, you just made your ass kicking all the worse. Now, like I said, last week was an accident. We were really trying to make sure you knew what you were getting into. Because no matter how confident you and your brother think you are, I assure you, whatever you think you're walking into, it pales to the real experience of being in a match with the living legends. So, I'm going to give you this opportunity right here, right now, to remain respectful and accept my apology. Because if you don't... I'm afraid you're the one who's going to be taking that ass kicking. Who do you think you're talking to? Do you know what me and my brother have done all around the world? We are the very best in the world. You can ask anybody who they fear. They say us. So I ask you again. Who do you think you're talking to. What do I see? Placeholders. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's what I see. Oh yeah, that's what you see? Yeah, you better, you better believe that's what I see. Oh, I don't think that's what you see. Oh, you better believe that's what I see. I don't think so. Oh, you better believe so. Well, if so, why don't you do something about it? Oh, something's gonna get done. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, something will, I assure you. So why don't you do it? I think I'm about to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember who's in charge of this show. What I say goes, and I say, save it till Saturday. Got it? Very well. See you at Double or Nothing, boys. Well, what a confrontation here on Dynamite. Darby. A few years ago, when you first came to me, you said to me, you were my hero. And to show you what it was, what it was to be a star at the level that I was, and you want to be. And I dedicated the last 
few good years I could muster out of myself to making you. But then, you hit me in the back and betrayed me. After I took shots for you. After I went to war for you. Darby, my purpose is still to teach you. But now, I get to teach you the hard lessons about wrestling. The hard lessons about this business. I get to personally show you what happens when you betray people who are loyal to you in this business. I get to do it at double or nothing. And if I have to do it with every last spark that I have in me, with every last breath I have in me, Darby, I'm prepared to leave a piece of my soul in the rain Saturday night. Are you? And ladies and gentlemen, our open mat our opening match tonight is a tag team match. And here comes one of the women challenging for the AEW Women's Championship this Saturday at Double or Nothing. It's Jamie Hayter. Hayter has had quite the road getting to this match here at Double or Nothing. They're getting to the match this Saturday at Double or, Double or Nothing. She, of course, won that six-pack challenge to become number one contender. But has had a, let's just say, a series of events with Britt Baker. And now here comes Thunder Rosa. A woman who has long since been on the hunt for glory here in AEW. Thunder Rose. She, of course, would be number one contender not too long ago. Only for Mercedes Monet to cost her that opportunity in many ways. Mercedes Monet getting directly involved in that matchup. Hurting Thunder Rosa's attempt to win the title. Has led to what where we are now. This tag team match here tonight, the Saturday to the four double or nothing. Jamie Hayter and Thunder Rosa combining forces here tonight to take on Mercedes Monet and Jade Cargill because Thunder Rosa said, I'm going to at least get to smack Jade Cargill one time before before double or nothing. Before her reign is over. That's what Thunder Rosa believes. And here comes the power trip, the baddies. It's Jade Cargill and Mercedes Monet. I didn't even know they had a team entrance set, guys. I'm sorry. I thought they were entering separately. And they look ready to go here tonight. Two of the arguably best female athletes in the world, best athletes in the world, period. And tonight they get to show a little bit off before before this Saturday at Double or Nothing. Should be an exciting tag team match. Starting it off, Jamie Hayter and Mercedes Monet. Oh, Thunder Rosa finally getting in there. Outside match, she's not allowed to touch Mercedes Monet right now. And now Mercedes Monet opening with that knee, though. And now Mercedes Monet trying to throw Thunder Rosa into the ropes. No, Thunder Rosa catches herself. Thunder Rosa, no. She returns, the, returns fire with that shot. Thunder Rosa and Mercedes Monet. Monet, oh, Monet dragging the hair back. And now Thunder Rosa kicks Monet in the gut. 
Oh, big kick to the side of Mo Monet's head. Mercedes Monet and Thunder Rosa. Oh, wait, Thunder Rosa picks her up. Tombstone! And now, Mercedes Monet thrown into the ropes. And now tag to Jamie Hayter. Hayter, shot to the gut of Mercedes Monet. And now spine buster from Jamie Hayter. And now wait a minute, I'm trying to, Mercedes, wait, Jamie Hayter finally getting her hands on Jade Cargill. And now wait a minute, Thunder Rosa, wait a minute. Oh my God, Mercedes Monet taking this opportunity to stomp on the hair. And now, Thunder Rosa, oh, Mercedes Monet throws Jamie Hayter off there. Hayter returns with a back elbow. And now Hayter, oh, dumps Cargill out. And Hayter with, a, with that lariat. And another. And a third. But wait a minute, Jade Cargill, right now this, whoop, oh, big axe handle there to Mercedes Monet. Monet's still trying to recover here. And a German suplex. But, oh, wait a minute, Jade Cargill gets tagged. And now Mer Thunder Rosa, finally Thunder Rosa is going to get a good shot in. On the woman's champion, something she's been waiting so long to do. But now they're going back and forth into the cover on Rosa. One kick out from Rosa. Jay Cargill does not want to be in here right now. Cargill getting picked up. Brought down. Now wait, fighting back and forth. Thunder Rosa kicks the side of the head. Now, oh, big shot there as well. And now Thunder Rosa brings her up for the Thunder Driver. No, Cargill avoids it. Cargill avoiding the Thunder Driver. Pointing down, oh. Hits her off there. Thunder Rosa. Picks her up. Single leg Boston Crab. And she looks at Cargill. Cargill. Now Mercedes Monet's out. Cargill's in trouble. Cargill fights her way free. Now Cargill throws Rosa into the corner. And Jake Cargill with a chop. And Jake Cargill throws Thunder Rosa across the ring. Thunder Rosa. Hope she's not hurt there, ladies and gentlemen. And now Thunder Rosa, wait a minute. Cargill picks her up for Jaded. And now Cargill looking for the big boot. No! Rosa ducks the big boot. Rosa ducks Cargill's big boot, the move that put her down at the buy-in. And now, wait a minute, locks her up into the crucifix. One, two, nearly had her, but no. And now Thunder Rosa picks her up. Air Raid crash. One, two. Kick out from Jade Cargill. But Cargill, wait, Cargill getting that pin out of nowhere. Two, no, kick out from Rosa. But wait a minute, picks her up again. Brings her down. One. Two kick out there from Jamie Hayter. Jamie Hayter getting involved to force the break. But wait a minute. Cargill with the big boot. One. 
two kick out. Jamie Hayter again causing the break and yelling is Jade Cargill. And now Mercedes Monet, that's okay to her. She gets to pick the bones. And now big knees off in the corner there to Monet. Monet, one. Oh, breaking the pin again. Oh, wait a minute. Looking for the big thing to that double leg drop kick. No. Another tag to Cargill. And Jamie Hayter standing up for the tag. Oh, gets the tag. Here comes Hayter. Hayter and Cargill meeting one-on-one -on -one for the first time. Hayter now unloading big shots on Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill being picked up. Oh, into that backbreaker. Jamie Hayter coming in like a house of fire. And now brings in Mercedes Monet. Drives her back down. Jamie Hayter. Oh, wait, now Jade Cargill belly to belly on the outside. We have massive arcs there. And now back into the ring is Jade Cargill. Cargill now throws Hayter through the ropes. No, Hayter hangs on. Hayter. Jade Cargill picks her up and drives her spine down. And now wait, oh, big German to, from Jamie Hayter as well. Jamie Hayter now trying to come back. Hayter throws Cargill back into the ring. Tag the car, tag, double tag, tag the Monet, tag the Rosa. Here comes, wait a minute. Monet throws Rose off the ropes. Big drop kick there. And now Mercedes Monet. Look at the hit car. Look at destroy Cargill here. No. And now wait a minute. Picks her up for another air raid crash. And now throws her into the corner. She's trying to welcome Cargill to get into the match with her. Thunder Rosa shows no fear of Jade Cargill. And now wait, wait for the foot stop. No. Oh, we're turned with a big shot, does Monet. And now Mercedes Monet. Wait a minute. Rocked into the cover. One break up there from Hater. And now wait a minute, Monet throws her into the corner. Tag to Cargill. Cargill now way up and over. Oh. Now Jamie, now Thunder Rosa is trying to find a way. Wait a minute, Cargill coming from the top and taking down Thunder Rosa. And now another, wait, oh, massive arcing belly to belly on the outside. And Jay Cargill, oh, big, big knee take down there, wait. Thunder Rosa gets back into the ring. Cargill trips her up though. Wait, Cargill, what's Cargill doing? Big knee lift from Cargill into the cover. One, two, no kick out from one Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa still managing to kick out there. But wait a minute, not now. Bankrupt again. One, two, three. The baddies win this match. Here are your winners.
What a win there for the baddies. Going in to double or nothing. But will the reign of Cargill end this Saturday? Mr. Starks. Last week, you made some interesting provocations, to say the least. You remained respectful, but you acted as if I wasn't a challenge when I assure you I am. You acted like I was already past my prime. I assure you, I am better than I have ever been before as your TNT champion. Ricky, I respect how you got that shot. I respect how you didn't back down Bullet Club. It's why I backed you against Bullet Club. But I warn you, young man, do not underestimate me. Do not underestimate the powers of the Limitless Keith Lee, or you may fall like so many have before you. Mr. Starks, I look forward to being able to share your moment with you. It will probably be your last. Ice Cold Keith Lee going into Double or Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have more singles action coming out for you here tonight. And here comes Christian Cage. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 194 pounds. Christian. Christian Cage, of course, one of the one of the all-time greats in AEW and in WWE. And in all of wrestling, Christian Cage has been around the world multiple times and it's always performed. And tonight he has a big opportunity against the All Atlantic Champion in Buddy Matthews. Tonight, if you can get it done, it'll be a massive feather in the cap. For one, Christian Cage. And he looks ready to go here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. his opponent here tonight, the All-Atlantic Champion competing against Brian Danielson in just a few days, it's Buddy Matthews. Buddy Matthews, the International Champion, this Saturday collides with Brian Danielson, who the absolute best in the world. Going at it one on one at double or nothing. And I think Buddy Matthews used this as a great chance to prove himself even more. for double or nothing. Big singles match here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's Christian Cage. It's Buddy Matthews. Here we go. And oh, Buddy Matthews opening up with a V-trigger. Wait a minute. Christian Cage now picks him up into the electric chair. Matthews reverses. And Matthews, oh, it rolls him up into the cover. One, no kick out there from Christian. 
Christian getting up to his feet now. Matthews throws Christian off the ropes. Christian ducks it into spinning neck breaker to Christian and recover. One, two, no kick out there from Buddy Matthews. And Matthews leading for the big move there. Reverse there by Christian. Christian. Wait, Buddy Matthews picks him up. Power bomb to Christian. Folds him up. One kick out. And now wait, Christian throwing Buddy Matthews over the top rope. Matthews cleared it. And now Buddy Matthews seems to be in big trouble. Chop coming from Christian. Buddy Matthews reverses. Wait, Christian now. Picks up Buddy Matthews outside. Oh, slams him forward. And Christian now starting to work all over Buddy Matthews on the outside with a big slam on the concrete. And Christian kicking out the back as well of Buddy Matthews. And Christian beat Buddy Matthews. Just four days out from double or nothing. As Christian dealing even more damage. German on the outside. German there as well. We're at a six count. And Christian does not show any signs of stopping with Buddy. And now he's going for the ring. They both are. And Christian immediately grabs hold of Buddy Matthews again. Throws him into the corner. And now Christian setting him up. Brings it down. And now, Christian going to look for the spear. Spear to Buddy Matthews. One, two, no kick out from Buddy Matthews. Christian starting all hyped up here. Waiting for a big shot on Matthews. It's not going to wait. Matthews. Matthews stops him. Now Matthews running power bomb to Christian. Christian trying to recover. And Matthews. Oh, Christian bounces off the ropes there. Christian is trying to avoid staying down for too long. Big V trigger from Matthews. Matthews again trying to come with a V trigger. No. Christian. Desperate now for the cover. One. Two. Nearly had him, but no. And now Christian Link. Oh, wait. Buddy Matthews kicks out the legs of Captain Charisma. And now, oh, big weight, waist lock takedown. And spinning around him. Slapping Christian. And now, wait a minute. What's, wait. Oh my god, the bladed disrespect from Matthews as he hits that running knee. And now, wait a minute. Buddy Matthews. Hey Danielson, see you Saturday. Oh, Matthews locks in the lapel lock. Matthews logging in the lapel lock on Christian Cage. Christian Cage trying to avoid submission. Christian Cage floundering around trying to avoid the submission from Matthews. Matthews trying to get Christian to submit. Matthews again. Can Christian fight his way out? He told Danielson, watch this, but Christian slipped out. No! And now Christian. Christian, I think, desperate. No! Wait, Dan... Wait. Christian throws Buddy Matthews on the outside. But Buddy Matthews already back up to his feet. Christian, throw him back into the ring. And now wait, 
Christian again slips out. Wait, Daniels. Oh, Buddy Matthews. And again with the lapel lock. The lapel lock on Christian. And Christian's forced to submit. Matthews using Danielson's moves to finish off Christian here tonight. A statement has been made from Buddy Matthews here. This Saturday, Buddy Matthews and Brian Danielson clash one-on-one -on -one for the International Championship. And Buddy Matthews looks more ready than I've ever seen him. Those haven't been following for a while, you know. May not know I've been dealing with this pesky little tick known as Sammy Guevara. Sammy has some talent, I'll give him that, but it's really, really overshadowed by his just tendency to be a little prick. And because he seems to want to involve me in every single thing he does, now, I have to face him at double or nothing. And honestly, I'm more excited about giving this ass kicking than I've been for one in a while. Because the beautiful thing is showing somebody like Sammy Guevara what it's truly like to be in this business. To show him what ultraviolence really means and to give him a new definition of pain. <sighs> Sammy, I'm going to make you really, really regret you've ever crossed me. I'm probably going to make you regret you were even born. But at the end, You'll thank me for this. See you Saturday, Sammy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have even more singles action for you to hear tonight. And here comes a man who's been trying to prove himself. Roderick Strong. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Strong. I'm ready to go here tonight. Oh! John paying tribute to his. A man I think he wants to be a tag team partner. He hasn't even agreed that Roderick Strong single match him here tonight. This Sunday, not the Saturday, this Sunday. Roderick Strong will be wrestling for the Ring of Honor Championship in the main event Ring of Honor Gold Rush against Andrade. But right now, he has a single match on AEW TV. We still don't know the status of him and Kyle O'Reilly. Strong extended the apology last week. Adam Cole announced he would forgive Roderick Strong. But would Kyle O'Reilly? And here comes his opponent tonight, a veteran of long, almost as long as strong. It's Matt Seidel, reborn. Matt Seidel, looking really ready to go here tonight. Like I said, two long-time veterans of the indie scene, two long-time veterans from WWE. Here tonight for AEW to compete one on one. And Matt Seidel really was ready to prove himself against Roderick Strong. Strong. Seidel. Here we go. And Strong and Seidel lock up to start the night. Wait, and strong. 
Oh, big back right there to Matt Seidel. Now, oh, big kick to the gut. Seidel looking for a springboard move. No, Roderick Strong dies. Roderick Strong now. Wait, Seidel versus Strong. Now Seidel picking him up. Oh! <clears throat> in the Olympic slam and into a brain buster on to Strong from Seidel. And now Seidel. Oh, tying Strong up in a knot here. But, oh, Strong trips and gets his way out. And now, looking for that forearm. No, Seidel denies. Seidel, big lifting knee there to the face of Strong. Strong still reeling from that shot. Seidel, back up top. Seidel, looking for that big. Oh, Seidel hits a Phoenix splash on Strong. One, two, no. Kick out from Strong. And now Strong. Oh, now circling around. Roderick Strong now picks up Seidel. Brings him down with a face buster. One kick out from Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel's really here. Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong picks him up. Here we go. Suplex to Seidel. And now Matt Seidel trying to recover here on the outside. Here comes Strong. Remember that big dive? No. Matt Seidel tells him he's... Wait. Picks him up. Oh, Matt Seidel brings him down on the outside. And now Matt Seidel picks up Roderick Strong. Big neck breaker as well. Strong following it up. Seidel with another forearm. And Strong trying to recover here. Seidel staying on him. Okay, now, wait, Strong pulls himself back into the ring, but Seidel cuts him off. And Seidel with a big back, back right here there. But wait, Roderick Strong gets up to his feet. But Rod, but now, Seidel. Oh, and a face buster with the ramp included. Wait, Roderick Strong right back up to his feet. Roderick Strong picks up the arms. Oh, into a backbreaker on Matt Seidel. Roderick Strong getting back into the ring here. And Matt Seidel. There was something big. Folds him up. Into the cover. One. Two kick out from Roderick. And now Roderick Strong still trying to. Oh! Matt Seidel ran face first into the ropes. And now Roderick Strong picks up Seidel. Brings him down. And now, oh, Matt Seidel giving him a personal rearrangement. And now Roderick Strong picks him up. And again with a face buster. And now again going back down, raining down strikes. And again. And now what's Roderick Strong doing? Roderick Strong setting him up. Here we go. Oh, slamming him. And now Roderick Strong standing up for the next one. Here we go. No, Matt Seidel reverses. And now Matt Seidel, no. There's something big here. Wait, handstand. Oh, he dives. And now Roderick Strong is in trouble. Face forward roll. No, Matt Seidel. Roderick Strong is knocked into the perfect position. Matt Seidel, Northern Lights Suplex. And another brain buster. Matt Seidel is giving Strong a hell of a match here tonight. Now looking for a suplex. But Strong. Strong reverses it. And Strong brings it down into a backbreaker. 
and kick up there from Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel looking for a super kick. Strong says no. Strong picks him up, folds him out. And now look out. Ripcord knee from Strong. And now Roderick Strong. Throwing Matt Seidel into the ropes there. Strong throws Matt Seidel into Bulldog. And now Roderick Strong setting him up for end of heartache. One, two, three. Roderick Strong with the win over Matt Seidel. Roderick Strong with an incredible win. Wait! And before we can even get to the belt, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven are here again, laying into Roderick Strong. Strong can't defend himself against this. And now Matt Taven and Mike Bennett need a chance to finally get their hands on Roderick Strong, a man who's been constantly hurting them these last couple months. But Roderick Strong now starting to fight his way back into it with a backbreaker. And now Matt Taven trying to come in. Matt, wait a minute, Matt Taven Roderick Strong picks up him again. Oh, big move there to Mike, Mike Bennett. Roderick Strong trying to fight them off. But Matt Taven and Mike Bennett playing the numbers game. And now, uh, wait a minute. Oh, big kick. Oh, no, here we go. Stereo super kicks. As Roderick Strong goes to the outside and Bennett and Taven... Follow him. Big neck breaker. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Matt Taven. Matt Taven's going up the ramp. What's going on? Wait a minute. Look who's running down. Kyle O'Reilly. O'Reilly is here. Big hit to Matt. To Matt Taven. Taven now. O'Reilly unloading. Big combo there to Taven. And a leaping knee strike. O'Reilly. And Mike Bennett still working over Roderick Strong. But here comes Kyle. O'Reilly disposing. Now looking at now O'Reilly looking at Roderick Strong. And now O'Reilly and Strong picking him up. Double suplex. Rip Courtney! Tonight, you have all bore witness to something special. You have bore witness to the dragon being reborn here tonight. And Taven and Bennett, you and us at Double or Nothing, Taven and Bennett, you, you're dead. And yet another massive match added to Double or Nothing. The team of Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly going two on two with Taven and Bennett. Mr. Brooks, before you meet your ultimate fate that you have decided for yourself, Double or nothing. I feel I should tell you a story. I once was an old man. He served the people of his town whom he loved very much. He served them day after day, year after year. Carrying supplies back on his back day after day, and as the days went on, eventually, the bag just got heavier, and heavier, and heavier, 
and heaven, and what once became charity became burden. But he kept carrying, making him grow ever cyclical, making him grow ever resentful. Until one day he just collapsed on the road, exhausted, full of hate, full of malice, full of regret. He begged for death to come and take him. And when death arrived, the embrace he felt was like that he had never known before. Phil, I will free you from your torment. And you finally, being gone, will know a freedom you've never known. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> next up on match, a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. And here comes Jungle Boy, Jack Perry. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Of course, Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, California, one of the four, weighing in at 100 four, four pillars pounds, here in AEW. Jack Perry. He is... One of the most exciting young talents you will see in the world of wrestling today. Jungle Boy Jack Perry tonight has a massive task ahead of him, though. He has to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who has so far cut a path of dominance through AEW in Jay White. tonight if he can genuinely get it done it will be a big step for him moving forward but here comes the switchblade Jay from Auckland, White in at he is just four pounds. days away Blade. from double or nothing in his match with Kenny Omega this man tore apart the elite in a matter of weeks and now look to officially end Kenny Omega in AEW Jay White in just a matter less than a month has completely thrown all of AEW into chaos and tonight what many people say is one of the heroes of AEW in Jungle Boy Jack Perry. And here we go. Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, and Switchblade, Jay White, one-on-one. -on -one. And Switchblade and Jungle Boy lock up and... Oh, immediately with a snap suplexes Jay White. White, oh, big single leg drop kick there from Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy trying to respond here, going for the big clothesline, no. And now Jungle Boy falls into the ropes. Here comes Jay White as he dunks Jungle Boy over the top. Some classic showboating here from White. And Jay White immediately coming back with another elbow. And big kick to the back from White as well. And now Jay White starting to choke Jungle Boy on the floor. Jungle Boy having a hard time responding here. White returns with a kick to the midsection. And another. And a big shot to the side of the head. And Jungle Boy Jack Perry is starting to reel here. And now picking him up. Oh, and takes him down right onto the back. And a big knee into the back of Jungle Boy Jack Perry. As he was spent. And now we going for the chop again. White spins him out again. And now coming off the ropes again. Big knee again to the back of Jungle Boy. He's trying to respond here, but Jay White is continuously just, oh, dominating the man. 
the Jungle Boy pulls himself up onto the ropes. Here we go. Oh, Jungle Boy dumps Jay White over the top. And Jungle Boy telling Jay White, bring it on. And firing off a shot is Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy throws Jay White off the ropes. Ducks him. Big drop kick there from Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy starting to really start cooking here. Jungle Boy. Oh, reverse DDT from Jungle Boy. And now into, oh, spinning neck breaker. White is hurt. And now, oh, into that springboard poison Rana. White is trying to get up. DDT to Jay White and Jungle Boy. I think Jungle Boy is looking for the big move here. Oh, standing head scissor into the cover on White. Two nearly had it, but no. And now coming off the ropes again is Jungle Boy. Oh, look, but Jay White ducks the drop kick, and Jay White picks up Jungle Boy and slams him out. One, two, no, kick out from Jungle Boy. And now Jay White starting to beat down on Jungle Boy here. Now Jungle Boy goes to the outside. Jay White, big axe handle inside of Jungle Boy's head. And now Jungle Boy getting dropped. Big knee again to the back of Jungle Boy. And Jay White staying on Jungle Boy here. Just uninterrupted shots. And now Jungle Boy is in even more trouble than before. As Jay White picks him up, and Jay White, big shot to Jungle Boy, and another, and another, but Jungle Boy reverse it, Jungle Boy, big hit to White, and a, oh, big hits to the back as well, falls through with a reverse DDT on White, one, two, no, kick out from Jay White again. And now setting him up. Kill switch. On White. One. Two. Nearly had him, but again, White kicks out. And now Jungle Boy. Wait a minute, Jungle Boy. Trimming him up into STF. Into a powerful STF position. Will White make... Will White submit? He escapes. Jungle Boy now trying to regain himself. Wait a minute, White! Blade Runner! One, two, no! Jay White just pulls the Blade Runner out like it's nothing. Just out of nowhere comes Jay White, and now, oh, trips his head on the turnbuckle there. And now Juice, and now, Jungle Boy is in big trouble here on the outside, but wait a minute now, picks him up again, White on the outside. Jungle Boy has not moved. And then in, back into the ring. Jungle Boy is hurt. Into another. Blade Runner. One, two, three. Jay White wins this match. Jay White with an incredible win here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And Jay White standing in the ring, what a win. Well, wait, Kenny Omega! B trigger! And Omega picks him up, gut wrench power bomb! Kenny Omega has returned! And Kenny Omega now giving Jay White a beatdown! Omega and White were supposed to meet this Saturday, but we had no idea if Omega would actually show up, and Omega now. We went back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. The big chops coming in, but oh, Omega returns fire, and Kenny Omega with a chop, and another. And now Jay White trying to get out, but Omega, oh, kicks it out. Kicking the leg out. White's trying to get up. 
with Kenny Omega continuing the beatdown. And Kenny Omega, oh, turns Jay White inside out. And a V trigger in the corner. Omega showing White why you don't mess with the cleaner. And Omega now has White. See you this Sunday, Switchblade. Oh! Omega leaves White lane before double or nothing. And ladies and gentlemen, the main event here tonight, the final confrontation before the main event of double or nothing between the champion and the challenger. And out first is the champion, Adam Cole is here. Yeah, like I said, this Saturday, Double or Nothing, the main event, Adam Cole and MJF, this story begins. Just five weeks ago, at the bottom, MJF, winning that fatal four way to become number one contender for the TNT Championship. MJF will then pay off the team of the kingdom, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven, to turn on Adam Cole. He will get reinforcements in Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong finally gaining the loyalty back of his two former undisputed teammates to hold off the kingdom and finally let Adam Cole get MJF alone. One-on-one -on -one for the main event double or nothing. MJF tried throwing roadblock after roadblock in Adam Cole's way, trying to slow him down, trying to make sure Adam Cole would re going to double or nothing. But Adam Cole looks fantastic right now. He looks like he's at his career peak at the very moment. And now, here comes the salt of the earth. The challenger. This Saturday at Double or Nothing. From New York, winning in at 226 pounds, MJF. And I said winning this fatal four-way fully skill against John Moxley, Brian Danielson, and Sammy Guevara. The MJF and Adam Cole on the collision course. MJF, as I said, throwing roadblock after roadblock. MJF right now, he seems to be in a bit of a crisis. He's imitating someone very obviously. Um, I, I won't... I won't hustle because I have respect for his loyalty to the company he's at, but MJF clearly trying to capture the energy of another top star. But he says this is about him. This is about him getting back what he lost. And it looks like they're finally going to go face to face, ladies and gentlemen. So, Max. You're the one who wants so badly for us to come face to face one last time before our double or nothing made of a match. Look, 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 look here, Adam. Adam, I don't want there to be any confusion between us, man. Look, I know that you have what's best for his company at heart. Though, it may be unfounded. Max, I've looked at you done these, these last couple weeks. Now, you're going to try flattery? Oh, no. Trust me, I'm well beyond that at this point. Adam, let me ask you a question. What will you do as the face of AEW? What are you talking about? I will lead these people. No, 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 no. What will you do as the face of AEW? You know, unproven as the top guy, I mean, you always kind of need someone around to pick up your slack, don't you, Adam? You've kind of shown lackeys to be needed before just for you to even hold on to a title for an extended period of time. So, Adam, I ask again, what will you do as the future 
of AEW. Max, don't even act like you're interested in the future. No, no, I wasn't even saying me. I was just asking a personal question because you know that me taking your place or not depends on whether Tony Khan is willing to pay the big bucks for... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll stop you right there. You know what, Max? That's what I'm meaning to talk to you about. Max, you've been talking all this shit for months and months and months and months. I don't think you have the balls to do it. You have the balls to go in there? To go in that locker room? Run by that moron? Hmm? Hmm? How about you, uh, you, uh, you be forced to manage someone who you were a rival to, huh? What's gonna happen then to you, Max? Max, what's gonna happen to you when they ask you to cut your hair? Max, what's gonna happen to you when they ask you to not do your kick anymore? Max, what's gonna happen to you when they replace you with a clone of the guy who was relevant 20 years ago? You're gonna come back here, tail tucked between your legs, like the pathetic man you've always been. And you know what, Max? This goes beyond the championship at this point. This goes to you. You have been holding both companies hostage for so long. If you think this is about this for me, it's not. This is about the fact that you got handed everything in this business and still will find a reason to sit and piss and moan every week while I'm out here being the face of a company and you're off bitching on Twitter. You really think you can stand in his place? You really think you can be what he was the last generation? Newsflash, I beat him. You did it. I had it. You don't. You are going to lose to me the same way you always lose in the big match matches, Max. Because in reality, whether you like it or not, and no matter how many fake little things you put on, you are a B-plus player. And some strong words there from one Adam Cole, MJF, appearing nearly speechless at the verbal derision he just got. You know what, Adam? How about this? Oh! And MJF sucker punches Adam Cole, and now MJF getting on Adam Cole here. Oh my god, MJF coming after Adam Cole. Big belt shot from, that, from MJF. Now MJF has the belt again, whacks him again. MJF now in control. MJF looking to hit Adam Cole again. No, misses again. Aims for it one more time. Adam Cole stunned. Wait, Adam Cole ducks it. Adam Cole with a shot of his own. Super kick from Cole. And another. And again. And now Cole dumps MJF. Let's go. Come on. MJF appearing to walk out. I'm better than you, Adam. I know it.